Hi everyone, it's Joy from ArtfulHomemaking.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own foaming hand soap. This is another super simple tutorial and it's something that I've been doing for some time. I love just being able to make my own hand soap. So I love especially knowing that it has safe ingredients in it. You know, they're good for your skin since your skin absorbs everything. Um, this foaming hand soap is super easy and it's super healthy natural and so I just want to show you how to do that today it's very easy the main the most important thing for this recipe is you need a foaming hand soap dispenser and I've had some that I got that had other soap in it and I was recycling it for a while but that one is somewhere else so I'm gonna use this one this is one I found at Walmart and you can find them at Amazon I'll put a link below to where you can get one of these and this is the key to getting the soap to be foamy so you kind of need this so all you're gonna do to make this recipe super simple is you're gonna take water and we have rural water it's not chlorinated so I just use it if you would like to you could use filtered or distilled water so I'm just gonna fill this up fill up the foaming dispenser about two-thirds of the way full this is it doesn't have to be super precise or anything like that so hmm, probably there would be good it, like I said it really doesn't matter that much then you're gonna fill it up the rest of the way fill up your dispenser with Castile soap and today I've used other um, scents today I'm using the unscented one just so it doesn't compete with the essential oil that I'm planning to put in there so you're just gonna fill it up the rest of the third of the way I think I might have put too much water, but it's still gonna work. So about two thirds water and about a third of the soap. And then I'm gonna put, it depends on how much you want. Today I'm using lavender essential oil. I'm gonna put about 10 drops. You can put more or less depending on what you like. And I lost count because I was talking. So it doesn't really matter. It's just for scent mostly anyway. So I'm going to put about 10 drops of that, then you put the lid on, and yes, and that's another thing about this, you want to make sure you don't overfill it, because then when you put your little dispenser thing in, it's going to run out, kind of like what mine just did, but it's still going to be fine. So then just shake it up a little bit, let's see, see, I don't know if my camera is close enough, it's foamy! And that's how you make your own foaming hand wash, hand soap. And it's, it smells very good. I like the scent of lavender. You can use other scents. I've got to wash this off now. So you can use any essential oil scent that you'd like. And it's just super easy, super simple. And it's a natural way to make your own foaming hand soap. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make foaming hand soap. This is like... My kids can make this, anyone in the family can make it. That's what I love about it is that it's so incredibly simple and I love the smell of it. You can also make it um, more moisturizing to your hands if you put a little bit of some kind of oil in it. I actually never do that, so I don't know how much you put, but I would guess just a little bit. But if your hands tend to get dry like in the winter, you can add some kind of oil like fractionated coconut oil or... Um, I've seen some people add olive oil, so just whatever you'd like to add, I guess it works. Um, and it will stay good in here and it, it's just awesome. I like to keep one of these at every sink. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learning how to make your own foaming hand soap. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd subscribe. I plan to make more videos on simple, natural, handmade living and I'd love to see you here again. So thanks again for watching.